Hello, hello, and welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. My name is Nicole Simonin, and my dog is going to make some noise because, of course, every time I start a podcast, <laughs> she wants to roll on the floor or do something or eat a bone or who knows. But so if you hear background noise, that's what it is. So today on the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast, we're going to talk about I don't know where to start. And I hear this a lot from women who come to me. They're just, they're confused. And I get it. I get why you are confused. There are so many things being told to you in the weight loss industry. Low carb, no carb, no sugar, all veggies, all meat. You need to eat for your blood type. You need to do intermittent fasting. You need to eat six meals a day. You need to eat three meals a day and a snack. You need pills, you need shakes, you need shots, you need surgery. You need to freeze the fat out of your body. You need this weight training program. No, you need this HIT program. First, I could go on and on. And you have probably tried at least one of the things I mentioned, if not all, or have given very serious consideration to those options. It's just too much. Confusion is the stopper of everything, including weight loss. If you are confused as to where to start, you will never move forward. And if you do, you're gonna come to a screeching halt very soon afterwards. Why? Because your brain doesn't think this whole weight loss thing is a good idea. <laughs> At least not if you're living in like dieters mentality. Your body will naturally get to a weight or a set point where you're comfortable, but not while you're in dieters mentality. So how do you know if you're in dieters mentality? If you're looking for another diet program or another meal plan or something of that sort, if the plan you pick is all about eliminating foods or having you feel deprived or it's super complicated, even mildly complicated, we first need to get you out of that dieter's mentality and into a mindset queued up for successful weight loss. Your brain likes making patterns or habits, like then just kind of running on automatic pilot. So initially your brain thinks a diet is a great idea until you start sacrificing and have to use willpower. And your brain likes easy, it likes simple. You want to work with your brain, not against it. This is what I teach my clients. I teach them a simple and doable process. So you get to eat your favorite foods and do the activities that you love to do with the people you love doing them with. The first place you start is with what you're currently thinking about of your whole weight loss journey. <laughs> There's Trixie. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> shaking and kicking her feet. <laughs> I'll have to do a video on her when she's, when I'm recording the podcast. I usually don't put a um, collar on her, but I have a collar on her today. So that's why she's extra jingly. Okay. So back to the podcast. The first place you want to start is what you're currently thinking about and, and an overall picture. Like, what do you think about your body right now? So if you're not driving or you're not on a walk listening to this podcast, get a piece of paper out, answer these questions. What do you think of your body right now? What do you think about the food that you are currently eating? Now, maybe not in this moment, but just again, in general, what do you think about the food that you eat? How about the activities that you do every day? What do you think about them? What do you think the people in your life are going to say about you and your weight loss journey? So if you go through these questions and you're like, what do I think of my body right now? And you're like, I hate my body. I hate my thighs. I hate my belly, how it sticks out over my pants. All these thoughts, write them down, right? No matter how ugly they are. I actually, this morning did, <laughs> I do what's called a brain dump where I just kind of free write everything. Quite honestly, I was kind of in a funk this morning, not so much about fitness, but other things that are going on in my life. And I wrote out this brain dump and it was like mean girl central. It was, it was, it was shocking the thoughts that are in my head, but here's the thing. We're all 
So like we all think these mean girl thoughts, they are just inside of our head. And I think in some way they're there to protect us because our brain wants to point out the things that could kill us, that kind of thing. Um, kind of to keep us safe, to keep us small, to keep us right where we are. But as evolved human beings, we don't want to stay right where we are. We want to evolve. We want to be a better version of ourselves. We want to be healthy. We want to be fit, not just to be healthy and fit, but we want to be that person because of the feelings that you want to have about that person. You know, when you're healthier and fit, you may feel more freedom. Like you can move easier. You can go up the steps easier. A lot of people I work with when they travel, you know, they have to get the extender on the airplane seat, the seatbelt. They don't want that anymore. There's freedom in not having to request that as you travel. Um, it could be a lot of different things. Everybody's so individualized. So the second question is, what do you think about the food that you eat? Do you think you eat horribly? Like, do you think all the food that you eat is crap? Or do you have this more elitist type thing? Like, no, I just eat vegetables and, and I eat all the healthy foods. And neither of them is wrong, but it's the judgment that you make on the foods that you are eating right now. Labeling your foods good or bad. We're not stupid women. We understand that Oreos that last for about eight years <laughs> on the shelf are probably not the best quality of food, right? We could have fruits and vegetables that give us more nutrients. We know this, but the food that is available to us, and sometimes you want an Oreo, it's okay. Um, but labeling those foods as good and bad and having judgments on them, that's all like dieters mentality. So going on to the third question, how about the activities that you do every day? What do you think about them? Like, what do you do throughout the day? If you're at an office or you work at home and you're sitting all the time, you know, that's limited activity. If going to walk to the refrigerator and then come back for you is like a, a struggle, then you need to look at that. Um, also like, I mean, I've worked with clients and even me in the sense of I'm taking my daughter to soccer um, and where we're at now, I just found out they have a walking path, but because it's dark out, because I didn't think there was a walking path, because the people that drive in the parking lot are a little crazy. They drive like 50 miles an hour, it seems like. Um, I'm hoping no one gets hit, but it's a crazy parking lot. So I don't have the opportunity to walk like I used to in the other um, soccer place that she had. So for me, I've been sitting watching soccer or doing things in the car. And I know once the light um, the sun is out longer, I will get out of my car and do that. But like, that's an activity that I miss. Um, and sitting in the car, you know, while I'm waiting for her to finish soccer, I got to make sure for me, because I have certain goals as to how much I want to move throughout the day. And personally, I don't like sitting very long, um, unless it's at night and I'm just kind of chilling, but like throughout the day, I don't like sitting very long. Um, but like, take a look at the things that you're doing. What do you think about them? You know, like if you're going to go work out of the gym, are you like, I can't wait for this workout to be over. This sucks. I have to force myself to go to the gym. Um, I have to force myself to do this, to do that. If those are the words that are coming out of your mouth, you're in dieters mentality. You're in that, like that forceful sacrifice mentality that is, is really rampant in the weight loss area, but it doesn't have to be that way. So the other question is, is what do you think the people in your life are going to say about you and your weight loss journey? This is a really fascinating question because what you think other people are thinking about you is actually what you think about you. So hopefully you've answered that question before you got to this point in the podcast, <laughs> because now your brain's going to be like, oh, wait a minute. You're going to be like, you're going to be a little hesitant when you fill that out um, if you kind of know that already. But the things that you think like people are saying about you, I remember when I used to do boot camps in the park and I would have women who were very uncomfortable working out in front of people, um, especially in an open space like a park. Um, but even people that go to the gym, they're very uncomfortable. They think they're being judged. And maybe they are. I mean, there are some people out there, but again, it's, it's if you think you're being judged, you are judging yourself. And if you know a person is judging you, that's more about them than it is about you. So 
all these answers that you come up for these questions and i hope you really flush them out like don't just write one sentence for each question really let it out of your body get a big piece of paper um get it out of your brain there are so many different things that will come up for individual people um you know everybody's unique and different so your thoughts are going to be different than my thoughts and vice versa so if you answered these questions and really took your time and kind of flushed them out and you still feel like you need a little more personalized direction i can help you figure out how to put this all together for you if you work with me, you will no longer be confused on what to do to lose weight. That is the entire premise of my program. When we work together, we figure out what's going on, mostly between your ears, because that's the thoughts that you're thinking and how you're taking action from those thoughts and feelings. When you figure that out, it's so much easier to lose weight, right? I teach you a simple and doable way that is nothing like those diets or insane workouts or weight loss programs you have tried in the past. So finding out what you're thinking is where you start first. So once you understand why you do what you do or what you're not doing, again, the rest will fall in place. And this is what I teach my clients. I teach them not just how to lose the weight, but how to keep it off for good, for life. Like once you are working with me, you will understand no matter what situation comes up in your life, it could be a funeral, it could be a wedding, it could be uh, moving, it could be losing your job, it could be anything. You will know exactly how to lose weight, maintain your weight, both things. So your weight will fluctuate sometimes. I know my personal weight does. It'll fluctuate up maybe five pounds. But the thing is, is I know exactly how to get it back down to where I want it to be. And I want to teach that to you too. So again, what I teach my clients is not what you were taught to lose weight. And clearly what you were taught is not working for you if you are overweight. So if you want a simple and doable way to lose weight, I want to invite you to schedule a discovery call. You can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call. This is where we're going to talk about what you are currently doing to lose weight, what you are looking to achieve, like what's the body you want to live in. And we're going to talk about what it would look like to work with me. If you are a hell yes on the call, we will get started on your weight loss journey right then. You do not have to hate yourself skinny anymore to get the body you want. Book your discovery call at shapeitupfitness.com slash call today. All right. I hope this podcast was super helpful to you. And if you get a win on whatever the questions, like if you're like, oh, I get it. And there's an aha, I want to hear about it. So you can find me on Facebook, um, tag me in it and let me know how you did. If not, I will talk to you next week on the next podcast or on your discovery call this week. Take care and I will talk to you soon.